hold on, I can do this. Is this correct? Is it this way? Oh my god. It's so dumb. Oh. There we go. This is the Coca-Cola Georgia Peach one. I think it's new. guys it's me noel sorry for that super weird intro hope you didn't mind that asmr clip um that i included for you asmr fans today i'm gonna show you how to turn a regular coke bottle one of these old style coke bottles into a work of art bless you bless you <laughs> basically i'm gonna show you how to paint this coke bottle and you can make it into a vase or like a piggy bank, anything you want. Bonus tip, you can make this into like a little pin. Um, like from up, insert sad clip right here. But yeah, I'm gonna stop talking now so uh, I can finish this Coke and we can get pinning. The materials you will need are an empty clean Coke bottle, acrylic paint, sponge brushes, and paint brushes. I had a pretty limited range of colors available to me, but obviously if you have a bunch more acrylic paints, go crazy. I had to mix some, like to get green, I mixed the yellow and blue I had. So feel free to use whatever you have on hand. For this Coke bottle, I'm going to be painting a floral, nature-esque design on it. So I'm starting off with a green base, using the sponge brush just to sponge on the base of it and then working my way upwards, kind of making it lighter as I go upwards and making the bottom really opaque. I wasn't getting the complete solid look that I wanted from the sponge brush, so I just went in with a regular paintbrush and then I used the sponge brush on the top of it to soften the edges. After finishing the base, I went in with this smaller paintbrush, which is great for details, and I'm using it to paint the stems of the flowers. My vision for this design was not to make it perfect, but rather to have an artsy kind of feel, for lack of better terms, just messy, I guess. So either that or I'm just not good at painting, <laughs> but I actually loved how it turned out. So I'm not really worrying about perfecting the lines, making even strokes every time. It's kind of just the stroke of the brush leading me. That sounds super hippie, but yeah, that's what I'm going for. I'm also going in with this brush and making little leaves on whichever stem I think it would look good on. Also the empty spaces, leaves are a great way to fill those empty spaces. Now it's time to add the flowers. This first flower that I did was an orange flower. Love how bright this color was. And I'm just making five little petals. 
I didn't intend to do this, but with the different colored flowers that I made, I made each one like its own type of flower. Like for the orange ones, they were all these five petaled ones. And then for the blue flowers that I did, they all kind of had a bell shape. And for the pink flowers, they had a tulip shape. It kind of just turned out that way, but obviously you do whatever you think looks good. I think my favorite flower that I painted had to be these yellow ones. They look like roses because of the spiral. And this baby yellow color is just so cute and so dainty. A way you can add more detail to your flowers is to take the end of your paintbrush, dip it in some paint, and add little pollen areas or just dots. I don't really know what these would be in real life, but yeah, just extra design. I didn't want to overwhelm the piece, so I kept the dots consistent. I only added white dots in the middle of the orange flowers and a singular pink dot over the blue flowers. I also wanted to add more depth to the grassy base part of it, so I added orange to the green mixture that I already had to make this kind of brown green color. And as a final touch, I painted a little white butterfly. And this is the final result. I really loved how the paint looked when it was against the sunlight. It kind of reminded me of a mosaic at a church or something. This is a great way to recycle your old bottles and make something new and beautiful out of them. You can keep this for your room, put a flower in it, or gift it to a friend. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!